Okay, good day learners. It is a great privilege to be on this platform again. Today we shall be discussing about farm animals, diseases and control. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to, number one, define farm animal diseases. List examples of farm animal diseases. List mode of transmission of farm animal diseases. What is farm animal disease? Farm animal disease can be defined in any of the following ways. Number one, it is an unfavorable condition caused by the pathogen present within the animal. It is a deviation from normal state of health or function of any or all the tissues and organs of an animal's body. Number three, it is any process which disrupts an animal's normal function. Okay. Animal disease are generic cause. Number one, by bacteria, by fungi, viruses, protozoa, metabolic disorder. Factors that could predispose animals to diseases. Number one, sanitation, nutrition, management, poor housing, unfavorable climatic conditions, breeds of animals. Now, common bacterial diseases and their control. In this point, we shall look at common bacterial diseases and their possible control. We shall also be looking at their symptoms and possible effects on farm animals. Number one, we have the mystiasis. Mystiasis, okay, this is a picture of mystiasis. It's mostly a disease that affects the animal's odor. Odor is also known as the animal's breast. It causes the enlargement of odor. Now let's look at it. Now this is a bacterial disease that affects the breast of cattle, sheep, goat, and swine. What are the most possible mode of transmission? This disease can be transmitted into the breast, that is the mammary gland, or also known as odor of the animal, by bacteria from dirty floors and milkers, contaminated feeds, bacteria from dirty water and milking equipment. What are the common symptoms? This include fever, swollen odor, that is swollen breast, blood stain in milk, reduced milk production, difficulty in walking. What are the possible prevention and control measures of this disease? Number one, disinfect hands before milking. The odor should be properly washed before and after milking. Good sanitation of milking parlor should always be observed. Use antibiotics at dry up period. Okay. The next one is brucellosis. Brucellosis is also known as contagious abortion. Brucellosis is a bacterial disease that affects cattle, goats, and pigs. Now, what are the modes of transmission of brucellosis? Brucellosis can be transmitted through the following ways. Number one, contaminated feed, water and equipment. It can be transmitted through aborted or infected fetuses. It can be transmitted through mating with infected animal. The, the animal can be male or female because brucellosis is a disease that can affect both male and female. Okay, now what are the possible symptoms? Number one, abortion at late pregnancy is possible for the female animal to abort the fetus at late pregnancy just like we can see here this is a picture of an animal aborting her fetus at late pregnancy aha uh -huh. the irritation of placenta normally after giving birth the animal should be able to also bring out the placenta but when placenta is retained that is a symbol of brucellosis now wobbling of gates Lameness or paralysis, stillbirth, 
Stillbirth is a situation where the animal is giving birth and not due point or giving birth third. Okay, the enlarged testicle and scrotum in male animals. Both female and male animals can also uh, have loss of weight. Okay, what are the possible prevention and control measures of this disease? Number one, proper sanitation, vaccination before breeding, that is, vaccination before mating or call, both with male or female animal. Okay, call infected animal, remove the infected animal out of the herd. Then feeding clean water and feed, sorry, feeding clean water to the animal. Okay, let's look at next one, bacterial disease. We have foul typhoid. Now, foul typhoid is a bacterial disease that affects mostly poultry. It affects birds. Now, what are the modes of transmission of this disease? Body contact, oozing fluids from the infected animals, symptoms, reddish droppings, fever, weakness, just like we can see in this bird. Then, what are the effects on the animals? Low egg production in poultry, that is in layers. Now, what are the control measures? Proper sanitation, vaccination, isolation of infected birds. Okay, let's look at some common viral diseases of farm animals. Now, the first one is foot and mouth disease. Foot and mouth disease is a viral disease of cattle, sheep, goats, and pigs. The disease is a contagious disease. That is, the disease can be transmitted from one animal to another. Okay, let's look at the mode of transmission of this disease. Now, the disease can be transmitted through infected materials like urine, milk, feces, meat, etc. It can also be transmitted through contaminated feeding materials. It can also be contaminated by visitors or stray animals. An animal that is a visitor within your herd or just a stray animal that is moving all around can also contact, uh, I mean, can also transmit this disease to your herd. Okay, now contact with infected animals through injury. This uh, disease can be transmitted. Okay, what are the common symptoms? Now, rise in temperature or slight fever, loss of appetite, the animal will lose appetite, then lameness, the animals will, animal will experience lameness because there will be wound within the food. Aha. Now, formation of blisters on the mucous membrane of the mouth on the skin between and around the hoof, the teeth and odor, just like we can see here in this picture. Now the one up here, the food disease, can we see there are blisters in between the food and if you can look at here, blisters in the mucous membrane of the mouth, you can see it on the picture down here. Okay, what are the possible prevention and control measures of this disease? Isolate infected animals. Uh, contaminated materials should be buried, vaccination, Proper sanitation should be carried out. Then vaccination also. Yeah, we repeated vaccination twice. Vaccination should be carried out. Okay. Now, proper sanitation should be carried out. That is to show you that how this uh, is very important. There's an emphasis on vaccination and proper sanitation. Thank you for the understanding. Now, let's look at the next one. We have the Newcastle disease. Newcastle disease is a viral disease of poultry. It can also be found in rabbits. Uh -huh. Now, what, are, what is the mode of transmission of Newcastle disease? The disease can be transmitted through inhalation of contaminated air, contaminated feeds, water, litter and equipment, contact with infected birds. What are the symptoms? Sneezing, coughing, nasal discharge, paralysis, muscular tremor, somersaulting and cycling movements. Okay. Torticolysis. Torticolysis is a situation where the neck twists backward, just like we can see here in the picture. Diarrhea, watery and gunny species. Sorry, feces. What are droopness and ruffled feathers? What are the possible prevention and control measures? Number one, isolate infected animals. Contaminated materials should be buried. Vaccination should be carried out. Proper sanitation. Okay, now let's look at common fungal disease of farm animals. We have aspergillosis. 
Now, this is a fungal disease of cattle, poultry, and pigs. What are the modes of transmission? Inhalation of airborne spores, moldy litters, moldy feeds, contaminated incubator, symptoms, loss of weight, loss of appetite, skin irritation, difficulty in breathing, as we can see here, high body temperature, respiratory disorder, what are the possible control measures? Regular disinfection of pens and equipment. Avoid feeding moldy feed. Practice good sanitation and hygiene. Spray with fungicide. Call out infected birds. Do not use moldy litters. The moldy litters are litters that are wet and not dry. Don't always use moldy or wet litters. Let your litters always be dry. Okay. The next one is ringworm. Okay, this is a fungal disease of cattle, goats, sheep, and pigs. Mode of transmission. Aha, it can be transmitted through contact with infected animals, feeders, drinkers, and other equipment. Symptoms. Legion on the skin, lesion on the skin. As we can see here. Loss of appetite, skin irritation. Loss of weight, prevention or control measure. Clean the scar and paint with mixture of sulfur, vaccine, and iodine. Disinfection of pens and equipment. Some common protozoan diseases. The first one is trypozoonomiasis. This is also known as Megama or the sleeping sickness. Is a disease of cattle, goat, and sheep. It is caused by triponosol. Okay, mode of transmission. The disease is transmitted to the livestock through such a fly. Glossina species. What are the symptoms? Dullness in appearance, sleepiness or drowsiness, reduced feed intake or loss of weight. Loss of weight. Ha! Ah, as we can see here. Final one is death. High body temperature. This disease can be prevented or controlled by clearing bush around the farm, use preventive drugs, use resistant breeds such as muturu and indama, then spray animal coats with insecticides or triposonu, triponosomia. <laughs> triposonu or tripo. Triposonomia is a, is a drug that can be used to, to prevent or to cure this disease. Protect animals from insect bites and screening their pains. Okay, now coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is a disease of poultry, rabbits, calves, and lambs. This disease is transmitted by protozoa, also known as coccidia. Okay, mode of transmission. Wet litters or beddings, contaminated wet or dry pasture, symptoms, drop pee wings, blood stained feces or diarrhea, ruffle feathers, reduced feed intake and water intake, loss of weight, death. How can this be controlled? Maintain dry litters or bedding and the, and the pen disinfectant. Proper sanitation, use of suitable medicine that is oxidiostat, e.g., we have the furapror, embazinfort, and ampolium. Nutritional diseases. These are nutritional disorders caused by deficiency or excess of some nutritional supplements or minerals in diet of farm animals. These classes of diseases are generally described as non-pathogenic or non-communicable diseases. That is, they are not diseases that are caused by disease-causing organisms. Number one, we have bloods. Animal affected are cattle, sheep, goats, and rabbits. Causal organism, nutritional. Symptoms, swollen stomach. Mode of transmission, feeding suckling or lush pasture. Blockage of the digestive tract. Ingestion of toxic plants. 
prevention method. Avoid the feeding of lost pasture, feeding dry pasture, feed castor oil. When the animal is affected with this feed, the animal will castor oil and that will help the animal. Okay. We have Ostemolacia. Now, this is affect, I mean, this disease affects all farm animals. Mode of transmission. Deficiency of calcium, phosphate, and vitamin D. Symptoms. Inability to stand. Effect on animal. Weak bones formation and control can be carried out by giving the animal feed rich in calcium and phosphorus. And the animal can also be given mineral leaks. Rickets. This disease affects all farm animals also. Mode of transmission, deficiency of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. One of the symptoms is bent bones and inability to stand upright. Effect on animals, formation of weak bones. Control, give feed rich in calcium and phosphorus. Give mineral rich up. Precaution in managing animal diseases that can infest human beings. Diseases that are naturally transmitted from animals to man are described as zoonotic diseases. These diseases can spread through the following ways. Working closely with livestock. Contact with soil or water contaminated by animal disease pathogens. Contact with pets, exhibited animals or wildlife. Consumption of carcasses of dead, infected animal. Then unpasteurized dairy product. Okay, thank you for being here today. Please take the following assessment. Number one, what is farm animal disease? Number two, state two symptoms of the following. Mystiasis, Newcastle disease. Number two, list two modes of transmissible transmission of each of the following diseases. Mystiasis and Ringo. Question number three, explain coccidiosis under the following headings. Causal organism, mode of transmission, symptoms.